I thought winning America's Next Top Model would lead to lasting happiness for the rest of my life. But soon thereafter, I fell into a really dark and deep depression. And I realized that I needed something much more profound. And I found that in Nichiren Buddhism. Nam yo ho ring e ga 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 My name is Naima and I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. My parents are avant-garde jazz musicians and hippies as well, and they were practicing Nichiren Buddhism when I was born. So I've been chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo my whole life. Detroit is an amazing city. There's so much art and creativity, but on the other hand, it has also been one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. I had to deal with very violent circumstances, like my friends being murdered due to gun and drug violence. I was held up at gunpoint for the first time in my life when I was 15 years old, and I was coming back from school when it happened. But growing up in a Buddhist household where my parents chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and taught me all these wonderful, amazing ideas of compassion and hope, it really enabled us to overcome that and, and challenge it as a family. I was really confused for a while, like why my parents were um, wanting to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. And when we were little, they have all the Buddhist members come over to our house and the front windows would be like wide open and everybody would be chanting. And all the little kids in the neighborhood would like tease us. And I was like so embarrassed of it for a long time until I got to my teen years where I was like, all right, I guess this might work. So let me try it out. <laughs> I moved to New York when I had just turned 18 to study and perform with the Dance Theatre of Harlem, the ballet company. So I was kind of trying to figure out my life and see where things were going. It was at that point that I started chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo very seriously. I reached out to my Soka Gakkai international family and I found a group of really supportive women and young women who really encouraged me to find the confidence within myself that I was searching for. And I was actually working at a coffee shop when some casting scouts came in and they asked me if I wanted to audition for America's Next Top Model. I got a place on the show and I didn't really think that I had like a good chance at winning, but it wasn't until halfway through the filming where we got to South Africa that I really felt wow, Naima, I can do this. And the whole time I was chanting and chanting and chanting to really like find strength and courage and confidence within myself to be able to win this competition. And um, in my heart at the time was my mom and my sisters and the challenges that I saw them have. And I was like, this is a huge opportunity for me to be able to inspire other women like myself. So in my Nichiren Buddhist practice, I found the ultimate confidence to win and, and be victorious and use that as an opportunity to inspire people around the world. So I won America's Next Top Model, and it was this really huge, big, life-changing event. And I was like diving headfirst into this really huge, big career. And all of these things were just like so overwhelming. And I began going out and partying. I was always at red carpet events. I feel like I really began to spiral out of control and spiral really downwards into a very dark place and one of the darkest places I've ever been in my life. People who, who share these kind of things, they find a certain point where enough is enough. Either it consumes you and it destroys you and it can take your life or you just gotta fight your way out. And because I had seen actual proof with my Buddhist practice, I knew that I could win over this darkness that I was suffering through in my life. And eventually, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo really allowed me to 
see this really beautiful person inside of myself that I hadn't recognized before. She was always there, but I didn't really see her. And my Buddhist practice served as a mirror of who I really am inherently, like this really cool kind of funny, sometimes smart girl to be around. <laughs> My dream in life has always been to inspire people. Whether it was ballet, or modeling, or creating my own costumes, or now I have my band, The Galaxy of Tar. My goal, my dream has always been to really inspire people and to connect with them artistically. And really be the dream that I envision for myself tomorrow, today. And chanting has really allowed me to find the courage within myself to do that. <laughs>